The Norfolk Prevention Network is pleased to be a participant in an upcoming event that brings city services, families, schools, and neighborhoods together for a day of learning and fun. Michelle Johnson with the Division of Neighborhood Engagement and Amanda Sculp Scoopin is a volunteer and member of the East Ocean View Civic League. And they both have some details because they're involved in the planning of this event, which is uh, called the Norfolk Neighborhood Expo. Absolutely. Our network, our planning, our prevention network, which is formed about a year ago, was having a meeting and talking about doing a prevention summit, you know, mm -hmm. things to do so people don't get to the point of crisis and they can, you know, deal with those types of things better. And it turns out you were planning something. Absolutely. And everybody came together and went, hey, we can all do this together. It makes sense, yes. Yeah. I believe it was Kismet, um, ah, actually. Good old Kismet. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are doing the fourth annual Norfolk Neighborhood Expo oh. on September 19th at the Croc Center. And um, one of our staff members was at a meeting of the Norfolk Prevention Network, and they were talking about event, an event that they wanted to do in mm -hmm. September. Oh. And he mentioned the event that we're doing. And um, we got together and saw that it just made sense for us to come together in a, a partnership and actually do this particular event. It was mm -hmm. all of the same pieces, neighborhoods, schools, talking about prevention. We have um, informative um, exhibits and things of that nature. So it just makes sense to put it all together and have one big event. Okay, so yes. what day of the week is this going to be? That's on a Saturday. Okay. And actually the reason that we're having it that third week in September is we were looking for a home, a calendar home for the Norfolk Neighborhood Expo. And went online and did some research and found out that the Sunday, sun, the third Sunday in September is actually National Neighborhood Day. So oh. it made sense to have the event every year on the third Saturday. You weren't kidding about Kismet. This is like, yes. yeah, everything's falling together very Absolutely. nicely. Yes. And Amanda, you're with the Ocean East Ocean View Civic League, so um, I imagine that you know your group is interested in getting involved, or has been interested in getting involved, because they already are. As Civic League members, you have to be out there having a say in what goes on in your neighborhood. Yeah, and I've I've found in the past, and also this year, because it's going to be larger, that mm -hmm. it's it's a huge help to us to be able to talk to other Civic Leagues and other neighborhoods and find out what challenges they're having, what programs they have, talk to different nonprofits and different organizations and, and find programs that maybe we could bring to our neighborhood or that we could sort of tweak to our own mm -hmm. needs. For instance, our um, code enforcement initiative that we had, that we have in our neighborhood right now came from another neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, all of the forms that we use, you know, the, the procedures that we use, it, it all came from another neighborhood and mm -hmm. I wouldn't have met anyone from that neighborhood if I hadn't gone to the expo. So it's it's a great opportunity just to pull your resources and find things, you know, programs that we can bring to our rec center and yeah. kind of get everybody together in one spot. Right, they have a, a model has already been made and you can take it and tailor it to your needs. Right. Yes. Yeah, because mm -hmm. each neighborhood of course has its own um, unique aspects and um, issues and strengths and your group, is it a large group? Yeah, we, we routinely have 60 to 70 people at meetings. Yikes. So, yeah, it's, Which there is are some, that it, some, some days where it's standing room only. But. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, that's amazing, though. I mean, it's good. Not that only is amazing, very good. like yes. who it. Yeah, yeah who would have thought? I mean, that's, you know, to have that kind of strength in a, in, um, and support in a Civic League. And clearly, Engagement. people have a lot of things to say. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so it's great that you're, are you bringing some things to this event that to share with others? Is that? Um, well, the East Ocean View Civic League, we will have a table, and mm -hmm. normally uh -huh. what I do is I have, you know, different businesses in the neighborhood, think materials okay. on them, materials on what our Civic League does, who we are, what we do, um, different programs that we have, and that way if anyone else wants to look at what we're doing in our neighborhood and tailor it to their own, they can do that. Great, great. So, good opportunity to meet and greet. That's a part of, it's a big social thing. W Social, yeah, we certainly want you to have fun, but we want you to come and learn and be informed mm -hmm. as well. Right. And so each year we try to do something a bit different. Okay. The first year we had it, um, it was actually called the Front Porch Summit, and it was at Norfolk City Hall because we understood that we had to start it somewhere, yeah. which was great. And then the next year we wanted to move, we want to move it out into neighborhoods, right. um, so to speak. So we had it at the um, Southside Aquatic Center. We want people to get the full idea of what Norfolk has to offer. Yeah. And so we tried to move it around a bit. And for the last year we had it at the Croc Center. 
and we'll do that again this year. It just makes sense. It's centrally located. It has great parking. There's great energy there. Um, there's the flexibility of being indoors and outdoors, mm. and it has an auditorium. And so the new thing this year, besides having the Norfolk um, Prevention Network, which we are thrilled by, um, we will also do breakout sessions, and that's for nice. um, workshops for um, people of all ages. We have things for children um, where they would be able to excuse me, build what they want their neighborhood to be, um, hopefully out of Legos. Um, <laughs> we will have an opportunity for a, adults to um, talk about consensus building, for one thing. Um, we find that sometimes in some, you know, civic leagues and neighborhood organizations, um, you may find that you have a, there's an issue, but there may not be consensus on how to solve that issue or go about addressing it. So we have a workshop for that wow, and great. various others in between for millennials and, and um, as I said, people of all ages. So there will be something for everyone, including fun, too. Okay. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I mean, the fun, you got to have the fun, but part of that um, will probably come out of just what you learn and mm -hmm. being able to talk to other people about it. A lot Absolutely. of networking. Yeah, a lot of networking. Yeah. And one of the things, um, one of the um, events and or actually it's a ball pit for adults because when's the last time people, uh, adults have um, jumped into, you know, uh, a ball pit and just had fun? <laughs> Something that you would like find at Chuck E. Cheese, you know, the, the ball pit that they have there for kids. And so it's an opportunity. It's called Take a Seat, Make a Friend. And so it's like okay. forced conversation. Um, you can't get out of the ball pit. Um, <laughs> there are, there are um, some that have information on them or questions. And you have to find out what your commonality is before you can get out of the ball pit. <laughs> and, and the crux of it is, one, that you talk to people that you don't necessarily know, but right. also that you find that you have more things in common than not. Ah, so great. It's forced fun. Forced fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's an oxymoron if I've ever heard of it. But yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. So, all right, so that's a new thing. Mm -hmm. And well, I guess just the amenities and the features of that facility just really have given you an opportunity to do more. Absolutely. Um, which is yeah. what you want to do each year. Which we want to do each year. And so having the um, prevention network there, we've had some of them as exhibitors before, but having them there, because the um, tagline <laughs> for this particular event, Norfolk Neighborhood Expo, your passport to a healthy community. And we mean that um, as far, we mean that physically as far as the neighborhood's concerned, we mean that mentally, uh, we mean that socially. And yeah. so having the partnership between the city and the school system and the prevention network just makes sense. Yeah, um, something um, for everyone. Yeah, indeed. it's a yes. that's a powerful thing to have everybody there. Although it it's not always easy to achieve that. Absolutely, getting everybody not. in the same yeah. place to talk about things because yeah. they're all large entities. Absolutely, and yeah. and sometimes have existed on their own without a lot of communication. Mm -hmm. So it's about communication. Yeah, and it seemed to to work out um, very well. Yeah. There's a, a, a lot of energy. Yeah. Um, and synergy, because as I said, we were kind of <laughs> looking at doing some of the same kinds of things. Uh, yeah. the, the Prevention Network wanted to do a passport kind of thing to make sure that people visit each of the exhibits and get something out of it other okay. than a tchotchke, you know, or <laughs> <laughs> something else that they don't necessarily need, but right. certainly information as well, so. Okay, yeah. so this event, does it cost anything to attend? Nope. No? Nope. Absolutely free. All right, so, and people of all ages are invited? People of all ages are invited. Okay. Um, like I said, oh, there'll be food as well. Mm -hmm. And it, the food uh, is either, can either be free in some cases or a very nominal uh, amount. Okay. Uh, we, we'll have box lunches there, so. Okay. Yeah. So, the, and it runs from what time? What is the time frame? From 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that kind of covers lunch and snack time for, yes. for a lot of people, mm -hmm. including the the kids and, absolutely and the children will they have like separate activities for them and other areas of the facility there would be a kids area certainly mm -hmm. but um, as I mentioned there will be uh, workshops for specifically for youth wow. as well yeah wow. and then we'll have um, Zumba demonstration not necessarily demonstration because we want people we don't want people to look at the Zumba dancers. We want people to actually do it. <laughs> you want them to be right? yeah, the Zumba absolutely. dancers. Right, exactly, <laughs> yes. And that's all part of just kind of giving everybody information about the wealth of things that take place in Norfolk and that you be can become a part of as well. Okay, great, yeah. great. So, all right, no cost. No cost. Some free food. Yes. Um, entertainment, I mm -hmm. guess, in the is there entertainment outside of the 
events that people are participating in? Yes, there will be music and there may be some other um, demonstrations like dancing and, and that kind of oh, thing. Oh, well, fun. Well, yeah, yeah. And I want to go back because Amanda is being um, um, very coy. Uh, uh -oh. She was telling me earlier about a project that they're doing in, in her neighborhood um, that is absolutely fantastic and the kind of thing that you really want to be able to share with with other um, neighborhoods because it shows uh, their neighborhood pride. Oh, the history project? Did I put you on the spot? I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. The history project? Um, we did an oral history project this summer with some of the kids at the rec center. Wonderful. I had um, five people that live in the neighborhood. Only one of them um, really grew up in the city, but there were um, five seniors that the kids interviewed and they the kids came up with their own questions and they sat down and, and interviewed these people for about an hour each um, and they were able to ask you know anything that they wanted but they heard stories about one person who grew up in um, Marion, Alabama in the 30s and 40s and went on to become a very successful chemist. They heard from another woman who um, her grandparents were the caretakers of East Beach when it was still City Beach before East Beach was even there that was during the 40s and 50s and another man who grew up on Hatteras and watched the Battle of the Atlantic. They were able to go up on the rooftop and see the ships burning after they had been torpedoed. Oh my gosh. I mean, the stories that they heard were just incredible. So now I'm working with the kids and they're going to be writing stories about each person that they interviewed, um, telling everybody what they learned. And then we're going to publish it in a little book. Won't be very big, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we're hopefully going to have some sort of reception for the kids and everybody else that participated. Oh, what a wonderful idea, because it gets them very, very involved. And get, yeah. They get to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah they, I don't know who was more excited, the kids or the adults. <laughs> 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 yeah, as long as adults go, I want to do it do, now. Right, yeah. exactly. Hey, you know? oh, believe me, I never <laughs> thought I would see middle schoolers that excited to do schoolwork during the summer. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Great idea, yeah, Absolutely. and a great one to share with other communities, because every a community has their history and their characters and right. the people that like to tell stories. Absolutely. And to be able to share it with the younger generation and get them yeah. excited. Oh yeah. So, so many different things going on at the same time. Oh, that great. Inter intergenerational communication, um, neighborhood pride, talking about neighborhood history, sharing that kind of information is mm -hmm. fantastic. And with 120 neighborhoods, in the city of Norfolk, distinct neighborhoods in the city of Norfolk. That. What an opportunity, maybe an opportunity to challenge other right. neighborhoods to step up and do things like that. And some of them already have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. So 120, I had no idea it was mm -hmm. that many. Yeah. Yes. All right, September yeah. 19th, the Croc Center. That's at the intersection of uh, Princess Anne and Ballantyne Boulevard. And uh, you can go um, online or? Yes. Yeah. www.norfolk.gov slash neighborhoods. There you go, and you can go in there and check out more detail, and um, you know, check out the time again. If like, oh, what time was that? Absolutely, but it's ten to ten to four. four. Um, entertainment, food, workshops, and and just a chance to meet your neighbors. Yes, that's you right. Know? <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. so great. And thank you very much, Amanda, for thank for you. sharing um, East Ocean View Civic League's yes. um, ideas because they're just like one example of um, 120, yes. maybe. I don't Absolutely. know how many civic things right. we have, but we have a lot of them yes. mm -hmm. that can contribute in some uh, really special way mm -hmm. um, to making it richer for our community in terms of our culture and our history and for connecting people in ways that are surprising, like our Absolutely. middle school kids and, yes. and our older citizens. So yeah. thanks right. a lot for sharing. I think the event sounds like a great time. Well, thank you for having us, and thank we you. challenge everyone to come on out. All right. Okay. Well, we'll make sure you do. <laughs> thank <laughs> thanks you. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Well, when we return, medical coverage for your children. What do they have and what do they need? We'll, we'll tell you more in a minute. <laughs> 